Alright, I'm going to be unmolding some of my resin pieces. So, hopefully I can get them out of the molds. And I kind of wanted to make them all look slightly like galaxies, but still have some of the gears and the little pieces that I have. That one turned out really pretty. And of course, I'll be sanding these pieces and putting them all together in order for them to be ready to be sold as pendants. I'm probably going to sell all of my resin pieces just as pendants. I was thinking about making them all into necklaces, but I have so many resin pendants. If I did that, I would be making necklaces forever. <laughs> I really don't want to do that. <laughs> These ones are always really hard to get out. Try to get my camera to focus. There we go. It looks like there's a lot of bubbles in there. Um, a lot of times it looks like that on camera, but when you see it in real life, there really isn't that many bubbles. But you can see the down underneath. And I'd be sanding this side and putting a bell on the top. There is another piece. And the good thing about these is they all turn out to be just a little bit different, which is cool. And you might notice whenever I'm pulling them out, they squish a little bit, but it's only because I haven't let them fully harden. I'm also very impatient, <laughs> and I really wanted to shoot this video, so yeah. This one's a darker blue. You know, it'll go right back to where it was and then it'll harden just fine. Alright, these ones are a little bit harder to get out, so I'm hoping I can get some of them out. Well, this is a little balloon dog. I was kind of mixing mixed media and trying different different things um, with paper and trying to get it to where it looked good inside mold pieces. I'm always trying new things. It's always good to do that. And I've also been playing with, there's something called, um, I think it's like color, I don't know. That one turned out really pretty. I keep wanting to say resin pours, but I think it's like acrylic pours or some kind of paint pour. I've been trying to do that with my pieces, which some of them didn't really turn out very well. I mean, this one's still pretty, but I'd rather it not be completely white towards the center. But that's okay. And I'll be cutting these out. Come on, focus! Oh my gosh. There's one. There's the other. Jeez, oh, boys. There we go. This one looks really cool. Kind of looks a little matrixy. 
<laughs> I don't know. That's pretty awesome. My problem with a lot of my resin pieces is I want to do too much with them. So I end up adding way too much to it. Instead of just doing the minimum, I end up putting too much and then it looks cluttered instead of cute. These ones are a little bit more matte. I will actually go back through and glaze them and you'll probably be able to see them a lot better. I might put a picture up later of them glazed. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to see any of these, so I'll just do this one later. If I can keep a hold of them. These ones should come out pretty shiny, because this one's a brand new mold. Yeah. See, I like this one a whole lot. It's very pretty. They kind of look like little marbles. And I was thinking about selling these for $20 a piece only because resin is actually pretty expensive. Otherwise, I do try to do a lot of my jewelry more affordable. Um, sometimes I just can't because it takes a lot of my time and a lot of money to make some things. <laughs> some people don't understand that. <laughs> but I really do try. But it just depends. Do you want something cool or do you want something kind of half-assed? You know, it's up to you. What do you want to pay? And that goes with anything in life. Especially if you do things on your own. Any kind of freelance or especially doing hair. People want all the discounts and they gotta know you went to school you spent your time learning everything trial and error and not everything's gonna be fast and instant you live in an instant world but it's not the best if you want good quality I try to sell my jewelry, but I am also very busy. I work two jobs. I try to keep up with everything, but I almost never have any downtime. So, <laughs> thank you for watching my video.